Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you smart home integration. Alexa, turn on left lights. Okay. Alexa, turn on the heat. It's set to heat. Okay, so that's a couple things. Next thing is we have a little tablet here. This tablet is fully capable of controlling the entire home. So we just go to this, this app here. Um, now the other thing is, not only is it capable of controlling the entire home, it, it also works as a you know regular tablet. So you could do whatever you want on here. And this was $50. Uh, so we have, we can open and close the garage door. There's a lot of sensors. Um, there's also the thermostat, which we can control. We can control that with our voice. So that's one smart home control. Alexa, trigger garage. So there's some, there's some cameras here, and you can see different parts of the house. There's also another set of cameras over there. And as you can see, that opened the garage door. So if I said that again, it would close it. There's a motion sensor that automatically turns on this chandelier. Now that we come over here, this is a smart TV. This TV will essentially do whatever you want it to. It can go on YouTube, it can go on Google, it can do whatever. Over here we have another Alexa. And there's also a remote around here. And that remote can be used to control lighting. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So we can press TV room. Now we'll turn those on. Dining room. Now we'll turn those on. The kitchen. And then, of course, the foyer. So a lot of the uh, light switches in this house have been converted into smart switches. Also, if you were ever to lose this switch, it has a tracking locator on it, which can can find it on uh, from your phone all right let's go out to the smart pool so this is on a timer this will only come on to zap bugs at night and then we have the screen and then the dogs can get through that as well this is a rock speaker it makes music and it is waterproof but I keep it inside when we're not using it just to make it last longer because it is really nice so this is where I keep the controller for the pool this is a Pentair Easy Touch control system. It allows you to have up to seven auxiliary functions on your on your pool and control them wirelessly, including valve actuators. So essentially, this thing controls everything. It controls the heater, it controls the water feature, it controls the valves, it controls the yard lights, the pool lights, the spa lights, my pond, and not only that, it will allow me to you know access a bunch of different modes. I can put it in spillway mode, which will make the jacuzzi spill into the pool i can have it in spa mode or i could even have it in pool mode so it will give me the air temperature uh, around the pool and it will also give me the water temperature and the desired temperature so 69 uh, divided by 100 or 69 slash 100 means that the spa temperature is 69 degrees right now and my desired temperature is 100 the air temperature is 63 degrees there you go so it is a really, really beautiful day today. And yeah, the backyard looks great. There's some landscape lighting over there. And the pond is over there. And like I said, they're all controlled from this module here. Also, um, the the other part of the system, the pool control panel, basically has a bunch of, you can, you can set the schedules here, but it has a bunch of schedules so you can run your pool every day in whichever valve actuated mode you want. You can run different you know, things. You could have the spa run and clean itself out and then the pool run or spillway mode run, whatever you like. There's an intercom here. Now, this intercom goes to every room. It also has a radio function and it has auxiliary input. So you could essentially play your phone through the whole house. You know, and each, each room has a little intercom and the speakers are not, not horrible. There's a Bose surround sound speaker system here. Over there, there's the wireless Samsung module. There's also a Bose subwoofer and the Bose tweeters, and there's a Samsung sound bar. This is a Sony 75 inch TV. And this couch here, it, uh, it reclines back. So you could press this and the little leg rest will come up from the couch. 
I really like it. So that's a lot of the smart home features. There's a, an expansion. I'm gonna be expanding the smart home to the gate so that I can control the front entry gate. But right now it can be controlled from the phone. If the, if the gate rings, um, you can press nine to open the gate from the phone, which is another really cool thing. Um, the phones in every room also have their own intercom function. So, and these are completely wireless. You don't need to plug these into a telephone jack. So we would go intercom and we would select who we would like to intercom with. There's also a cool feature on Alexa, which will allow us to drop in. We can use our voice to start the intercom. So, you know, there's that, which is really cool. Um, what do I find myself using the most? What I find myself using the most is when I'm going to bed, I usually tell her to turn off the lights. Um, if I'm sitting and relaxing, I usually tell her maybe to change the thermostat or you know whatever I need. But that's the tour of my smart home and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.